Hi everybody, I'm Tom Jones with the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. I work in a department as a fish health biologist. Welcome to Fish Smoking 101. Today I'd just like to give you some of my tips uh, to smoke trout. Uh, pretty easy process. First we're going to go over some equipment, look at some recipes and see the final product. So I've got a couple different smokers here. This one is an electric smoker. It's all set up, ready to go. You can see some smoke coming out. It's got a little door here where you put some, your wood chips in. I'll explain this a little more thorough later, but just a handful of wood chips right on the electric element and you generate smoke. This one over next to us is an old style smoker. It served me a number of years. Uh, it's a charcoal smoker. Um, and you fire up your charcoal just like you're cooking a burger. You can see it's got different racks on it where you can put your fish. And one of my favorite ways of, of smoking trout, um, and you can smoke other fish, there's a lot of different ways of doing it, is a simple brine. This is a wet brine. As you can see, I've, I have some eight to 10 inch brook trout in here. My recipe is just very, very simple. And it's gotten to the point that I don't even measure it anymore. I use a two and a half pound bag of brown sugar and half a container of salt. It's a little more about, about a half a pound to three quarters of a pound of just regular uh, Morton salt. And with this size trout in this brine, maximum time that I like, just so you don't, you don't get too salty because it's a pretty heavy salt content, about an hour and a half. So these are, these are all set and have been in this brine for an hour and a half and my process would be just to rinse them off. I've got some water here. We'll quickly give them a rinse and then we'll take them over and, and put them on the smoker. Here we go, We've already, I've already added some nice hickory chips and we're going to put our trout on top. As you can see there's a water pan in there that helps maintain moisture. With this electric smoker and this size trout I have found that about three hours is a good time because you don't I don't want my trout to to really you know with the meat and the texture to get really hard. So you gotta experiment with the size fish. If you had a larger size trout, you would want more smoking time. And my old charcoal grill, it would get hot. That would be about a four hour smoke. And as long as I have my smoke, I'll just walk away from it. I'll set the timer for about two and a half, three hours. And as I start losing my smoke, I'll take a, some hickory wood or whatever you wanna use, apple or alder and I'll put it on top of that element just to maintain some nice smoke. Pretty simple process, easy to do. There's so many ways you can prepare your smoked trout. Um, these are the kind of the simple ways that I like. Just a nice, uh, any type of cracker with a little bit of Good old cabbage cheese, cheddar cheese, and fish on top. I've also got just some, some of the same cracker with some just plain old Philadelphia cream cheese. You can see some of these over here, and some folks just like it, like it plain. Uh, it's important to, as you're, as you're taking the skin off, is just to really make sure you get all the rib bones out if you're preparing it for others. Um, again, so many, so many different ways, you know, of, of preparing it. And they have that old saying that every chef must taste their food.